A typical day for me usually starts with waking up without an alarm, except if exceptionally I have an early meeting or I need to travel somewhere. I try to not have an alarm at all. This is kind of helpful because it helps me go to bed early. And it also helps me making sure that I follow my natural sleep cycle. I get up and then I have a shower and uh, I make myself a cup of tea. And then I usually try to do some sort of little exercise to get me in the right mindset, depending on how I feel this morning. If I feel anxious, I may do a 10 minute meditation. Uh, but if I feel really tired, I may just dance a little bit in front of the mirror for 10 minutes. So I'm just doing different things. It could be also a little bit of writing. If I feel like my priorities are all over the place, uh, that I don't have a good idea of what I need to work on that day, I may sit down for five, 10 minutes and take my to-do list and try and see what are my priorities for the day. Those 10 minutes doing whatever is the right exercise for me that day are usually super helpful to put me in the correct mindset and to start the day right. I then start actually writing for usually an hour and a half to two hours. This is really quiet time. I put my phone away, I turn off my notifications and I try to really get in the zone. By the end of the two hours, I don't always have something that is worth publishing, but that's completely fine. I can pick it up the day after. And then depending on the day, I have a, a slightly different schedule. If it's a Monday, it means that I have my team meeting where I meet with everyone working at Nest Labs. We talk about what went well the, the week before, what didn't go so well, and what our focus is going to be for the next week. And then everyone just start working on whatever they want to work on. We're a remote company, so I'm not behind them checking if they're actually working or whatever. I really trust them. So everyone goes for the week and, and works on their priorities. Tuesdays and Wednesday, I try to have no meetings at all. It really helps me create space for those moments of creativity that are outside of the time that I have blocked. It also helps me work on different projects, experiment. I really like launching mini projects at Nest Labs just to see if people like it or not. And it also allows me to uh, engage with the community whenever I really feel like it, so it's not forced. Thursdays are newsletter day and uh, I usually do a quick catch up with my team as well, just to see if everything is going well and if they need anything. They don't work on Fridays, so it's basically kind of a quick review of everything that happened during the week. And then during the afternoon, I collate all of the material that we created during the week. That includes our research-based articles, YouTube videos, uh, any resources that we produced that week, put them together in the newsletter, and send it. And Fridays is usually the time where I just like to read, take notes, relax. Um, I think creativity is really about input and output and it's really important to have time just for pure input. So Fridays are very relaxing days. I recently saw uh, research showing that this is also the least productive day of the week. So I felt good that that's the day I picked to not be productive, intentionally not productive.